but go welcome to the next episode of Fallout 4. We last left off. We were just cleaning up some some regions. I'm gonna see if we can cook anything, and then after we're done cooking, we're gonna go ahead. Ooh, we can make some good stuff. We're gonna go ahead and continue on some missions. Because that's what we need to do. Need some dirty water, huh? Gotta appreciate getting experience for just doing cooking. Maybe that was only if real life were the same. Yao guy ribs. Yao guy roast. Pretty good. Let's go ahead and back out here. I think we should. Well, you know I like making the soup. Beverages were good. Utility. Vegetable starch. Um, let's plant that corn. Because I just feel like that's what we should be doing. We should be planting corn. Not using it for starch. Not yet, anyways. I don't know why it's... I don't know why that's happening. We should be able to pick that corn. That's what I'm just trying to duplicate it. Not provide it as a viable food source for those jabronis. But anyways, let's go ahead. And... Alright. Holding shift. I don't know why that's making me stop moving. But let's go ahead. We're going to plant... Some resources in the of the food region of the corn region, right here in our corn stash. You know, there's got to be a few. There we go. There's one there. That's plenty, huh? Anything else we need to plant? Some carrots. Don't want to spend too much time planting here, but this other stuff we can. You can just put a, a sock in it for now. One of the things I don't understand is, you know, why is that corn gone? I'm guessing that people are harvesting it, but what does that really mean for us? They're harvesting it. Let's go ahead and see what missions we have here. We could go reunions and talk to Piper. We could talk to Paladin. We could search Earl Sterling's house for clues. Lost patrol road to freedom. Why don't we continue on and talk to Piper here? We'll show that on the map. Let's go to Diamond City Market here, shall we? Alright, let's do it. So the good news is, is that now we're running at the complete greatness known as 60 FPS in 1080. And it's running really well. So I've moved my my main recording recordation machine home. Which means uh, I did it for the new year so that there will be no missed recordations. Because I can pretty much guarantee that now. Alright, let's go ahead and... Talk to Piper. She's not, not my favorite person in the series thus far, but I guess walks into my office for a change. I don't know a ton about her. Piper, you, me, and hard luck all seem to run together. We'll just turn it up just a hair. There we go. See if that. Together like acid rain down an old there sewer. You uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. That's right. What's the story? Morning Glory. Where to begin? I was too late. Someone's gonna pay. We need help. Let's say uh, I was too late. I... I didn't make it in time. Kellogg was working with the Institute, and he... He gave them Sean. <laughs> that outfit. <laughs> I've lost him all over again. Part Stormtrooper, part restaurateur. Oh I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. That all leather outfit. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. <laughs> exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. He's roasted. He's dead. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Paid the iron yeah, price. I knew he wasn't going to go quietly the moment I saw him. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging <laughs> parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. What now? I regret it. I had no choice. I had no choice. He wasn't going to talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. 
Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. What? Amari. The it's mind a bit of a stretch. Memories. That's insane. There's no way that could ever work. <clears throat> Stay with me on this. We get a piece of Kellogg's gray matter and take it to Amari. Then we see if she's got the goods to pull this off. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? How can that even be crazy, real? But what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Give him a little sarcasm. I'm gonna need a really sharp ice cream scoop. <laughs> I'm sure you'll manage. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I, guess I have get... to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. We're gonna take Piper. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there, Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. You earned Don't your worry. keep. We're gonna get your boy back. That level up will take it. A few more steps. All right, let's go ahead. Before we talk to Piper, let's we reach level twenty-one. All right, let's go ahead and level up here and see what we got. We can. What do we got here? I'm tempted to go heavy back, strong back, but also science will allow us to. We got a lot of things we could do. Isn't it gun nut? Oh, not yet. Um, science is an option. I think heavy back is probably where we're going to go with it, though. Where's science? Non-automatic pistols do 20% more damage. Commando. Sneaks. Mr. Sandman. Where's science? I don't see anything that resembles science. Maybe we're... Oh. We have to have int 6. So we could add int 6, but before we do that, we're going to add heavy back because that's what we need. All right, cool. So let's talk to hey. Yiper here. Say the word. Let's go. All right, so let's press on here. And hmm. What's that for? we're going to take anything that's that we need right now and then we're gonna go out and apparently find out the key to Diamond City here it's big, loud, not the Diamond City the, that brain life alright so let's go to our data here dangerous mines show on the map they're not on the local map are they? no where Oh, over here. Right next to Good Neighbor. Welcome to Good Neighbor, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? Free your mind. That's just Good neighbor, huh? what they said. Alright, let's go ahead and press forward and talk to Dr. Amari. Amari Cooper. I wonder if there's any relation. The Mem M Den. The M Den is also a store in Michigan that sells only Michigan University products. But anyways, we've been in here before. We didn't we well, clear the place out? Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about the lonely. May have walked out of the den. The girl from Titanic. Never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs. You big flirt. Here for Amari. She's downstairs. Irma. Whatever you and Nick are up to, I don't need to know. Just don't let the big metal softy hurt itself. Stop drinking. Stop smoking. Stop putting makeup on. Get that out of here. What you're going to use instead, can we give her? <laughs> We don't have anything we can give him, but here. Well, ain't that a blast from the past? Can we put that item back? What did we just steal? 
Silver pocket watch. We didn't want to steal that. Hey, Irma. Don't let Nick spend too much time with Amari down in that lab. Whoops. I'll start to get jealous. <laughs> what is she doing? Let's go downstairs. Let's press on. Excuse me. Nikola Tesla. There's upstairs. How do we get downstairs? Down here. Nope. Just a bunch of junk back here. Turlet. Upstairs. It's pointing in this direction. There we go. Excuse me, Nick Valentine. What do we got down here? Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. It's not. What is that? What is that? Kellogg's brain. Just get right help, to it. Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulator... Defile a corpse? ...intact, living brains to function. You're useless. <laughs> Some expert you are. I knew this was a waste of time. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do I don't we. think we invited Nick to come along. I'll take a look, but no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here you go. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. What is From that? From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Is Nick compatible? Is the brain so good? Skip the science. Is the brain still good? That's all we care about. So the brain is still good, right? Possibly. There's no sign of decay. So the tech is probably preserving the tissue, injecting some kind of compound. So how are you going to pull it out, though? That's a real no question. There's no way to access the memories inside without a compatible port. You're talking about me, right? I'm an old synth. If the Institute built me out of similar parts, we might have an in. There could be long-term side effects. I don't know where to even begin with listing the risks. Don't bother. I don't need to hear them. Plug me in, Doc. Plug him in the Matrix, Doc. Doc. Matrix. Don't mess this up. Thanks, Nick. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right. Let's do this. All right, plug him in. Ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memory, memory lock. It appears to be jammed. Is Nick okay? We don't care. A lock? Question mark. You're kidding me. How do we break it? Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. <laughs> but what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. But we put Piper in there instead. In parallel. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. A little sarcasm. Nick and I are going to share a mind. Yeah, I'm not going to see him in any compromising position, am I? <laughs> if a smart mouth was all it took to solve problems, we would have found your son by... Roasted. Now. Um, no. <laughs> you won't have to worry about that. The only memories you'll access are the ones in the implant. All right, let's do it. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there. 
and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other Sit side. in the memory lounger. Looks rather luxurious, if you ask me. Look at that plush leather. That Star Citizen entryway. Piper, judging. Looking, judging, recording, Initiating judging. Brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. All right. Do we get to wander around like Fallout 3 in the black and white world? Go on a limb and say yeah. Can you hear me? Ah, good. Whoa. The simulation appears to be working, although it's the crazy. memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that Those... gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Those synapses. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Follow the purple synapse road. Oh, Remember, can we take those? You are experiencing these memories as oh, us. This may prove disorienting at first. Mom, we can access. Can we access my, our memory? Oh, I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about <laughs> He's how He's got rocket work? pajamas on. I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. What did Mom I told have to myself say? I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Hmm. So we're, this is Kel we're playing as Kellogg, or mm, what a joke. realizing these dreams through Kellogg. Okay. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that hmm. cost her more than a few beatings. That rocket carpet. I never knew what happened to her after I left. Why is the bed so dirty? Though? I didn't want to know. Not then. Nothing Let's go see what Dad's up to. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never this really knew what he did. What we're looking for. Don't know why mom was with him. There appears to be Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. In temporal sequence. There. Try that. Hmm. That ye first young memory sitting on the bed reading the comics with mom listening to that radio. What was this Butch? Is that Butch? No, it's us. It's gonna be. The thing about happiness is, is he cooking? You only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're. It's like that but, watching uh, a Broadway play. You don't really believe it. Focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. Birdman. It's only <laughs> looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand. That's what happiness felt Some like. Some deep stuff going on here, boys. You'll see. What's going on with Sarah Connor? Here. And now with the baby. Oh, you had a kid? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, Mary. I'm not saying this was a mistake. I... Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I... I never deserved her. At least it's a little Not clean. One second. I'm just. Sarah, what's your deal? These guys know what they're doing. They seem kind of green. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. That could be Butch's twin brother. She'd never met. Maybe me. not twin, but she'd have stayed in the hub. Distant Maybe cousin. Maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. Golden Gate Bridge. I know, but that's where I come in. Just wait. 
In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Kellogg, you this is your life. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. That, Must be my that crib in the kitchen. In. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot the of she. around looking tough. All right, let's press on here. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Those synapses. Oh. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? What kind of gun does he have? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, oh. and we wouldn't fuck with you? That language. Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. Oh, he's about to get roasty. We're going to find out who's going to get roasty on in the next episode of Fallout 4. Thank you guys so much for watching. hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, I want to see more, I encourage you to hit the like button. Subscribe for more Fallout 4. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, let me know in the comments who you think is on the other side of that roasting panel. I'll see you next time. <laughs>